So here's a question. Who is writing the user stories? Right, right, come on in, come on in, come on in. We gotta talk about this. This is something that a lot of people struggle with. This is a topic that's very hot. We have to talk about it. So who is writing the user stories? We gotta get into that. But before I do, let me go pay some bills and come right back. Guys, I wanna introduce you to this pillow that I have been using for almost a month now. This pillow actually has water in it. <laughs> So it has this wonderful little nozzle here. You open it up, it comes with this funnel. You pour the water in to the level that you're comfortable with and the pillow does not leak. So you're not worried that the water is gonna drain out. It's not gonna drain out, you can see. And um, it's actually very, very comfortable. It's very soft. The water's on this side and the rest of it is just like regular pillow, but it's very soft and very cozy and very uh, comforting and I've been searching for pillows for a while because I have neck and upper back issues and until I found this pillow I have not gotten a good night's rest so I've tried every type of pillow I bought memory foam pillow I bought hotel style pillow everything but until I got this pillow because what the water does it keeps it cool during the night and it also supports your body in a very flexible way that really helps you to not wake up with like weird muscle pains in your neck and stuff. So I would encourage you to go get this pillow. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. And when you buy it from that link, you'll be supporting me and what I'm doing here on YouTube. So go get this pillow, get a good night's rest because you deserve it. All right guys, so who's, who's writing the user story? We gotta figure this out. Now normally, as you know, because you've watched all my videos and I've explained this. And if you haven't, please go check out my other videos, right? Like and subscribe and check out what I have sharing here on my YouTube channel, okay? So if you've watched those videos and if you're working in Agile, you already know that the user story is written from the perspective of the user. How is whatever you're building gonna be beneficial to the user? So with that in mind, in Agile, sometimes they have a business analyst and sometimes it's just the product owner. So what I've seen, <laughs> my computer went up. What I've seen is that the majority of companies have the product owner actually writing the user stories. Let me turn my phone down, everything's going off today. Sorry, yeah. So we have the product owner being the one to write the user stories. Now the challenge there is that, you know, some, Really? <laughs> hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let me just turn everything down. Oh my goodness. I don't even know where my volume's at. Okay, the computer is down and the phone is off. Yeah. All right. No more, no more blinging and going off and stuff like that. Okay. So the product owner is the one who normally writes the user stories. And that's because the product owner has a vision. They understand the use case. They understand the pain that the user story is going to try to solve. Now, that being said, it doesn't mean the product owner understands all the technical things that need to be done to solve the problem. So I've seen where the product owner writes from the use case perspective and then developers take it on to write more on the technical implementation. Um, I've also seen where the product owner does like the high level of what this feature needs to be and hands it off to a business analyst. And the business analyst is the person who actually writes out the acceptance criteria and all that stuff for the user story. I've also seen where there's just, we need to build this. And there's some requirements gathering done. And when that requirements gathering is done, the development team takes it and, and, and makes the user story and writes the user stories. But I will tell you of those three things I've been seeing, and I know there probably are more because every company is doing their own thing. But I've found that because the user story is for the benefit of the user and it's from the perspective of the user, I've just found that it makes much more sense for the business analyst to write the user story. And if you don't have a business analyst, then you have the product owner writing the story. If you know the most about the use case and you're thinking about it from the perspective of the user, then you should write the story. 
it's for you. Now, if the development team needs to write additional technical details as to how this is implemented, they can create tasks below that story or there's some other mechanism that they can use to flesh out that story some more. But really the developer development team shouldn't be the one writing stories. The reason is that these guys are technical. They're looking at it from the perspective of the system and from implementation and from code and from all of this stuff. And if you leave it up to them, they might get carried away in the technical implementation and not go back to the value to the user, right? So that's the reason why we are important because we can translate between the technical team and the business. If you just say, oh, here, go build, you know, go create stories, then, you know, you kind of leave them. Yes, they know what they're solving for and probably they can create stories that will solve the problem, but it can be hit or miss. <laughs> you know, it can get hit and miss. And if you have the skill set, you should be applying that skill set in that area. Now, I've seen where the product owner writes the stories, but they write it at a very high level and then the development team builds it out. Yes, that obviously can work because people are doing that, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. I recommend that the person who knows the most about the business problem and how this solution is going to solve the business problem for the end user, that's the person who needs to write the user story. Now, if you don't have all the technical information, this is why you have your backlog refinement. You go into the backlog refinement, you clarify, you ask questions, and you take it back to the business, you clarify, you ask questions, and you do this iterative process until you agree on what is going to actually be built and you by then will have all the knowledge to flesh out the user story with the acceptance criteria right so it is really for the business analyst to write and in in lieu of having a business analyst then maybe the product owner if you have a company where you have both product owner and business analyst and they could tag team or they figure something out but really you shouldn't be giving developers user stories to write developers should only be writing technical tasks or if it's a real, like, deeply technical story, then fine. They can write a technical, like a tech debt. Like, this is something that has nothing to do with the end user necessarily. It's just a complete system to system. Or, for example, um, we had a case where we're working on a, a piece of our software. And for the user to have this functionality, this development team needed to change the back end of what they were doing. So they were using... I think it is joint JS as one platform or something, and it needs to change to React or some other platform. And that's something that's completely in the dev world, right? It's completely system to system to system. I don't need to get involved because that has nothing to really do with the end result I'm looking for my users. I know what my users need to be able to do when they get in. How the back end is going to handle it and respond to it, that could be something that development teams could handle so they can go off and write technical user stories for those things but when it comes to how it interacts with the user we need to be in charge right because we know what we're trying to build we know the solution we're trying to solve for we know how it's supposed to work right so i just take a stance that development teams should not be writing user stories because they have not spent the time because this is not their job, right? You spent the time doing all your requirements elicitation. You spent the time understanding the business problem. You spent the, the time understanding the use case. And if that person, if you, by you, I mean the, the business analyst or the product owner, if you have done all that work and you know all that detail, you should be the one writing the user story, all right? So there you have it, guys. Who writes the user story? The business analyst or the product owner, or if you're working in a different job title, but that's really what you're doing, like your product manager or your maybe project on the project team, project coordinator, whatever. As long as you're the person doing the elicitation, you're the person doing the understanding the use case, then you should be the one translating that into the user story. That's my take on it. If you agree, let me know. Put it in the comments. Tell me what you think. And while you're down there, just subscribe and like the video, okay, and leave a comment, okay? All right, so see you guys next time. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I'll talk to you later. Take care, bye-bye.